Welcome to Insomniac Live! This is Shirtless Spider-Man here, and I have been finally invited to the Insomniac Game Studios to host this program that they have. Happy Halloween to you all. Yes. <laughs> you have nothing to say to me, Corey? No, I'm gonna avoid eye contact. <laughs> We're taking a Twitch strike for this, but it's, it better be worth it. Because, you know, I'm good friends with Greg Miller. And I feel like if anyone could, you know, get a Twitch strike lifted, it's Greg Miller. I hope so. Yeah. Don't ban us, dude. And uh, for all the parents of people watching the stream, this is atypical. It's a Halloween stream. <laughs> We're in costume for Are Halloween. you referring to someone's parents that are on the couch? Yeah, there's probably a good chance that my mom is watching right now so if you're watching hi hey come on in um we have a couple other spider characters that uh yeah come uh come sit on the couch yeah we can scooch over yeah. and make room for some welcome other spider man i'm the shirtless spider man alexis is a, a modification of gwen stacy right yeah hi gwen stacy really needs a uh Punk version. Ah, punk Gwen Stacy. <laughs> and <laughs> we have one more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, duck down or sit down so they can see. Yeah. <laughs> punk Spidey. The real deal. Yep. Already the weirdest live stream ever. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, I need, to, I need to get tucked in a little right. bit. If you're new here, this is Insomniac Live. We're going to be playing Friday 13th. James will be Ooh. back in a minute. His alter ego. Oh, that wasn't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kind of yeah. Guys, where'd Shirtless Spider-Man go? Yeah. I don't know, he's I don't gone. Know. What? I what? thought Greg was never in the moment. same place at the same time. How could he be gone? I like I've never met the guy before, and he's here, and you guys let him leave without me. Sorry, I was. You got terrible luck. I know it was bad. It was real bad. Um. So hi, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Uh, we're gonna play some Friday the Thirteenth if we can find a server. There's got to be people playing today, right? I would think so. I mean, I guess I could just jump into a quick match. Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, we got some mood lighting, all creepy mm -hmm, and dark mm -hmm. today. Uh. We've got our spider costumes here. We posted a ton. Uh, I think Justin can link our Instagram, but if you check out the Insomniac Games Instagram on our story, we have lots of the different costumes people wore both here in Durham and in Burbank. Um, so, yeah, that was very exciting. Did we have any spider people in Durham? I don't think so, but I'd have to go back and look through the story. They all blur together to me now. Yeah. <laughs> and hi, John Connor. Yes, I'm yes. John Connor from T2. Mm. Not staying in character though. Oh, yeah, no, I can do all the quotes. Look, look at this. We got Skynet by the balls now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And see this? Eh? Eh? Got to throw it in the lava. Yeah. Roll it on. I like it. <laughs> I cannot self destruct. <laughs> <laughs> How can we win in the competition? Cause I wore this like three years ago. Okay, it's a redo. Can't do a redo. And I mean, like, I, come on, this is just I, like five <laughs> minutes. Yours is legit. I love the hand. Yours is legit too. That one's pretty awesome. I like how the ribs came out. Yeah. So did you like custom stud all the studs on there? Oh, that's dedication. So um, we're searching for a dedicated server. Yeah, so the game does have dedicated servers now, which is awesome because then we don't have to worry about getting quick to, like getting kicked out of the match if uh -huh. someone quits. Okay. Um, oh, we're in. Servers. We're in. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We got a game. We got a game. All right. See, there be people playing. It's Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
James, did you want to switch? Uh, sure, I'll switch back here. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like I'm, uh, you know, yeah. stealing your vibe right now. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. It's dark for Halloween. I hope anyone doing anything fun for Halloween? Yeah, I know. I'm not wearing a costume. I'm a lame But I, you know, considering what I, what, uh, that I. No problemo. Yeah. We, we, we worked on it. Uh, That's how we <laughs> Yeah, nice, yeah. John Connor. Yeah. I could just keep going all day. She's not my mother, Todd. <laughs> See, like a like a voice sample box. It's like <laughs> line after line after line. Easy money. Yeah, that's gonna get old fast. Uh, if I was there as Jason, they will be in trouble. Yeah, that. Oh, if you're playing in the game, got it. Game frame. Well, you should get on your PS4s. So we're jumping in. It doesn't look like there's that many players on the servers. So who are we right now? Well, it, um, it's all random right at the beginning, right? Yeah, so it, it, you don't. I don't know if I'm going to be Jason or one of the counselors. If I if I am one of the counselors, I'll be Fox, mm -hmm. who's the biker chick from part three. Um, but we'll we'll see what I get when the match starts. Um, Open for Jason. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, this game has a lot of new players since they they put it on one of the PlayStation Plus. Oh, it's free. Play. It went out for free. Mm -hmm. I nice. grabbed it myself, but just been so busy with being spider. Yeah. Too busy making punk rock riffs in New York City. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, spud punk. Yeah. Smashing in skulls. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got the bracelets, you got the mask, you got the, you got the jacket. Yep. You got the jacket, you got the pins on the jacket, you got the shoes. Oh god, everyone run! It's retro Jason. And it's me, yes. Oh, right. Oh, is that purple and green as a retro? Yeah, it's it's uh It's not Bar Barney the Dinosaur. No, it's it's NES Jason from Yeah, right. Oh <laughs> sixteen color Jason. Let's see. So I'm gonna <laughs> run around and start putting down traps near the Near the objectives, just in case people start trying to repair the phone box or whatever, I can come after them. What? Don't they have cell phones? Mm -hmm. Not in 1982. Dang! You can't just go around killing people. <laughs> what? What do you mean why? Because you can't. Um. Yeah, that was a. Uh, <laughs> you realize, like, watching some of those shows and movies, like, if you ever watched them all, like, they all. None of them would work if there were cell phones. So much of it. They could just call each other. Yeah, exactly. I think cell phones have been one of the worst things to happen in movie stories. Well, because they oh, just have to stand around and explain, like, oh, yeah. I don't have signal. Yeah, or... movie storytelling was so much better before cell phones. Uh-oh, you got me in a fair You're telling me you don't like those new horror movies where, like, they pick up the cell phone and they're like, wait, uh, hold up, uh. <laughs> so, like, for example, um... <sighs> Cloverfield, the one where she's like down in the basement. What's that called? Cloverfield Lane or something? Oh or yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. The first, Lane. yeah, like yeah, Dan Trachtenberg, good, great <laughs> friend of the show and Insomniac, directed that movie. It's a good dude. Really? Yeah. That movie was really cool, but like the first ten minutes is the girl on her cell phone. Yeah. Right. And I was like, get on with it. Like, I don't want to <laughs> sit and watch somebody on their cell phone for ten minutes. Yeah. It's so boring. What well, would you have rather seen? The what it was adapted from? The, uh, Seller, sure. JJ, the original yeah, that, that sounds great. Turned into a connected universe thing. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> oh god, that was amazing. Yeah, he could reach through the like, Walter guys. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>. stick around. <laughs> yeah, I guess Jason is like the best. Make them oh, there's somebody. Oh yeah, uh, no! Why are you running in the light, you fool? I've played sometimes for hours and I don't get Jason. Yeah, it's tough. Like, there's a lot of people who want to play Jason, and it, it is pretty random when you get him or not. Yeah. Oh, you did your speed boost but missed? Yeah, yeah, I have the, you can see my little UI in the bottom right, like, uh, like it's kind of filling back up. It's a lot of cooldown. Uh, yeah. If you, if you had gotten there and hit successfully, you'd have immediately, like, grappled? Um, some people get really good at grabbing right out of the little, like, shift mm. flying. Yeah. I've never been hugely great at that. Mm. 
But yeah, there's a lot of people that are good at that online. I feel like I often, like, yeah, I'm yeah. just running and I'm like, what the? He wasn't even around me. Well, and this girl I'm chasing is one of the really fast characters. Art of Generis is Spider Gwen, you're looking lit. Thank you. Uh. Said Sir David, I think we explained the, the teleport thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, so they run, in. In the, they run in the we light to, to reduce in. their fear. Yeah. Bola. Oh, yeah. Get in here. Get in here. Yeah. We have more oh. spider people. No shortage of spider people. Come oh, on. man. It is oh. a parade of Spider Man. Just, just be careful oh, to not walk in front of Jason playing on the TV. But uh, here, I'll get up. Corey, you can direct oh. traffic for a second. Um, someone could sit on either side of the couch, and um, and someone could like kneel back here too. Okay. Can you see okay through yeah, the yeah, vision is. Uh, I want to go fast. Yeah, yeah. Slightly it's okay. Just, it's okay. Just cross me. You can just crawl. Aha! Uh -huh. nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. Someone yeah. go back there. Yeah. I'll okay, I'll up. go back there I'll and slide you. up. Ooh yeah. Go right here. Oh, someone can sit on the couch there. Can you? Can you can focus. So we got what? We got Spider UK, <laughs> Spider Man UK here. We got a little Miles action. We got the, you know, advanced Spider suit. Might need Look to all this. a little Justin. There's so many. We have so many Spider Man costumes this year. It's like mm -hmm. we shipped a Spider Man game or something. Something like that. It smells like webs now. Mm. <laughs> Is it webs you smell? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what webs smell like? When you have four Spider Men in a room. I just want to confirm the UK spider is the best spider. Webs? Why, why, why do you say UK spider is the best spider? Because it's from the How UK. How does he swing around? Oh. We speak better, we're we polite. Okay. Like an accent. Um, yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Things. I think she's got gadgets, but she doesn't make them. Okay. She's, she's not the tough type. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Man, it is like a horror movie. She just keeps barely escaping. Like, <laughs> How is that possible? Yeah, it's pretty tough. Some of, like the people playing as the counselors have gotten a lot better since the game first launched. Like there's definitely sort of a meta game that they, they follow sometimes. Are you good at the like have you got oh. Um oh yeah, yeah, I've I've had good matches and bad matches as Jason. I've had times where I've gotten like eight out of eight kills and I've had times where people escape pretty quickly. Mm. Just trying to throw knives at him so yeah. while he's running around there. So I just dodged your knife twice. Mm. Jason oh, there's someone inside too. <laughs> there's multiple people inside. Yeah, shutting off the power is useful because it, it makes the counselors fear increase, and then when they're running, they'll stumble. And there's a there's a variety of stuff that makes it worse for them. Oh, oh, oh jeez! Now they're well armed and they're well organized. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Yeah. Is that all? There's all three of them. There's three of them. In yeah, there? there's three of them right there. What's up? They're well armed. Can you see everyone, Justin? Yeah. All right. Zoomed out. Yeah. Yeah. And Jason. It takes a beating, but keeps going. Or maybe just Oh, they're struggling in the rocks! They're struggling in the rocks! Oh! Okay, now I gotta find the. Ah. I broke. I broke three. He had a pocket knife. Oh, so he stabbed you. Which pretty much means he gets away for free at least. Yeah. Uh, the first time? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's like a one-use thing. Someone said we need a Halloween game like this. Did everyone know what the, the Halloween mask was? Like, for Michael Myers? Oh, um, wasn't it it's a, uh, the likeness of... It was a William Shatner Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a William Shatner mask. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I wonder if he gets, uh, residuals. Or... I doubt it. Mm, no, I, yeah. He may, but I kind of doubt it. Because Halloween was a pretty like independent movie where they yeah. probably didn't get all the clearance. I don't think they stuff, paid. Yeah. They didn't pay for any of that. They just bought the mask and spray painted it. <laughs> uh, do you guys plan all these costumes with? Each, did any of you guys plan costumes with each other ahead of time so you knew which suits you were wearing, or you all just did your own suits? And Spider lives beside, within within inside of us. We, just, <laughs> we felt like today was a day we just come together. Oh, that's good. Oh wait, today's <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. I'm prepared. No. Thank you. Thank you, Spider Gwen. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else?
someone clip shirtless fighting? Jeez, Justin, don't encourage them. Uh -huh. Shirtless fighting. Shirtless fighting. Yeah, there was a shirtless Spidey at the start. Yeah. There, we did have shirtless shirtless NSFW. Spidey. Did visit, but he got a phone call. He's very important. Uh, and if you want to see Tim Geddes from Kind of Funny's uh, Halloween costume, you should check out his Twitter feed. Um, because he was not shirtless today. He was a pantsless <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was uh, definitely like a, oh, it was very eye-opening. Uh, I, I laughed when I saw it. Oh, are they trying to get the boat running? Oh, yeah, man. she's trying to repair the boat right now, which is sometimes works if Jason is not paying attention, but if Jason is paying attention, he can wreck the boat pretty I love that they tried to go back and repair the boat for a second after yeah. you're like two feet away. Oh, man. But they're fighting back. Yeah. yeah. They're working together. Bugsy, like the, the male counselor guy there, he's really good with melee weapons. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it looks like there's two Vanessas who have oh really, God, like, fast moving. speed and stamina. Mm -hmm. Although if they get scared, they'll start running slower it's like she was right Alright, so she's toast. Most yeah. likely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh God. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 well uh, done. Extreme <laughs> yoga. <on that. laughs> wow. Alright, Spidey. I think this Spidey man needs to get back, back. to making some uh, tools. Alright. Yeah, well, thanks for coming by, Spider Punk, Spider Man. Thank you for having us. See y'all. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. You want this tool? Sure. See you guys. So, what's he doing in the house right now? Um, so, these people are in the house. So you're breaking the glass to I'm kind of breaking the glass so that if they try to use the windows to escape, that it damages them. Ah. Uh. Um, Jason himself cannot go through the windows. Um, so it's a bit of a standoff right now. You're just making it hard for them to leave. Without. Yeah, like if they, if they leave, they'll be more likely to get hurt. As soon as I start chopping the door, they're probably going to go through the window. Come on. Oh look, he's he's somebody's, somebody's aiming something. And I have a trap in the door. And now they she goes out the window as yeah, soon as you I always need to remember to look for the traps when I go through doors. But, let's see how far you got. Please no! Oh no, Vanessa! <laughs> oh, they're right th what? Both of them. Uh Oh, there's someone saying place traps outside the windows. But you know, Gretzka, Gun Media, Bearman116, Unmuting, and Walvis Jaeger. Thank you all for the follows. Oh, oh wow, we got we got Gun Media following. They're like the publisher of this game. Oh, nice. I think that Randy Greenback, who used to work for Insomniac, oh, is one of their top people. I, I, may, I may be hallucinating that. But where are you at? It's someone's screen. Oh man! Oh, he was like, "Oh, I went in the wrong place." Yeah. Yeah. He he's must have seen you from behind. Like, uh, let's see. Can anyone dress as your mom to confuse you? <laughs> that would be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be. Oh. Uh, or you just find her head. Yeah. <laughs> Her head is in the shack where Jason starts out. Oh, okay. Like if the if the counselors get in there, they can steal her sweater, which will then like confuse Jason. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's actually part of the process of killing Jason. Watch the bear trap. Oh, what? Nice. Oh, but he went out the window. I'm just gonna warp right outside and let him get confused for a second, and then try to chase him down. <laughs> oh, oh, amazing. Not paying attention uh, at all. Oh, but she had a pocket knife. Yeah. Find them. Kill them. Uh, let's see. Uh Kian Prime really wants to play. Okay, and Pepper 
Cake Man? Pepper Cake Man? Alright. Thanks for the follow as well. Man, it feels like a swimsuit's like a really bad situation to be in. Yeah. Right <laughs> oh. Aww. Right in the. Oh. I was like, man, he didn't use the actual blade sharp part? Oh, he did. They deserve to die, Jason. Uh, Make, them so awesome. Make them suffer. Make them suffer. Uh, remaster, I'm not in a costume because I was uh, too busy to plan anything and I spent too much time trying to secure a shirtless Spider Man visit. <laughs> so. Which, you know. Oh, uh, so how do you sometimes get to like go straight through the door? Um, like, that's like in? later in the match, and if Jason has been hurt enough that he goes into rage mode, I think is what they call it. Got it. You can you can just smash Flush right through, through doors. doors. So you've taken enough hits that. Yeah. He's like, oh, he had no idea you had that power right there. He's like, oh, I'm fine for a second. Nope. Oh. It's a dark room, but I'm probably chopping his head right now. I <laughs> hear something. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh, uh, beheading. Is there one left, right? I think so. Yeah. Kill for mother. <laughs> uh, anybody playing Red Dead? Yep. Oh yeah. Ricky Jedi asks, "How was everyone thinking of Red Dead so far?" Uh, it's a lot of animations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I like it, but I don't really agree with having separate inventory on the horse versus separate inventory like on your your character guy like I just get confused and I forget things on the horse and it, like I get that it's realistic yeah I think the game's like too realistic for its own good where it, yeah you need to have like a third hand or like some controller that's like an N64 controller with like a whole extra set of buttons and stuff it's like too much but it's really cool yeah, it, like I kind of feel like, oh man, this is really neat. Then I have to question myself, but was that part fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, like it's cool to see everything, but a lot of times when I'm in a battle and I'm low on health and I gotta like go through and it's like, oh no, that's the stamina core thing to eat. No, yeah, holding this down, scrolling with that, and then release that, and the analog stick is in the right position. So, dude, it's. Like, it's a Way great game, tricky. but I feel like it takes a lot of adjusting to the UI in that yeah. game. Like, well, it's like a sim. It's like a full-on sim. It is a sim. Yeah. It's a cowboy simulator, yeah. which is what's awesome about it. But uh, um, when it's just simple stuff, like just hunting or just riding around and, like, lassoing something or whatever, it's like, this is amazing. Yeah. I feel like it's ADD the game for me. Like, I haven't <laughs> done any main mission. It's always yeah. side yeah. stuff. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm going somewhere. The other person needs help. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. it's definitely not the game that you'd play for like 20 minutes on a lunch break or something. Like, it just no. doesn't work out like yeah. that. Oh, the pocket knife again. It's like somebody managed to take Jason's mask off. Oh. Oh my. Now, that kind of looks like your Halloween costume, James. Yeah. When you were um, from the rest of development. Yeah, yeah, that does look like when I was Tobias GK. This is it right here. All out of pocket knives now! <laughs> this one's uh, bad. Oh! oh. Jason. Remaster uh, Resistance says he one? couldn't disagree with you guys more. He thinks they strike the balance between realism and fun perfectly. That's fair. I think it's. I, I don't really have a problem with realism. I think it's just what they do. Um, I do think some of the control scheme things where you're having like hold multiple buttons and then press different triggers are a little intense. Um, yeah, I feel like if I had like a whole day to sit down and play it, I would really enjoy it. But I'm mostly playing it for like 40 minutes at a time, yeah. and it's just hard to get any momentum going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my other, my only other like nice. gripe, if I'd have one, is that like a lot of your interacts are also the same button as shooting, and it kills me when I've like been trying to talk, I, like I'm just trying to interact with someone, I pull my gun and shoot them, and I'm just like, yeah. oh my god, yeah. why? It kills you and it kills them too. Yeah, it, yeah. It. And sometimes it tells you a prompt that's not true, depending on what you have equipped or put away, it'll prompt you for something, but it's only the case if the thing is out or not. Like sometimes R2 is aim weapon, yeah. but not shoot it. And yeah. If you click it again, then it shoot. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. So it, it takes some getting used to. And I'm terrified to play something else and stop playing it, like stop playing Red Dead for like two weeks, play something else and then go back to it. Cause like, I'll have to relearn it all. And 
So Yeah, like where the game's kind of idiosyncratic and has its own different control scheme than yeah. other games. Like I, I I get nervous about dropping games and coming back to mm-hmm. them. Yeah, yeah. It's good though. But it is still so beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, uh Yeah. I think the match is full key in, unfortunately. Oh, Alright, so okay, Spidey's all right, Spidey's yeah, going dropping by. Stuff. Thanks for coming. No worries, thank, thank you, web slingers. Looking good. Have a nice rest of your day. Happy Halloween. Ah, sorry. Alright. Oh. Alright, time out, time out. Stop the bike. I'm just going down the Keeps list going. every every line he says in the movie. Yep, you got them all. You got them all. Uh, Jack Knight and Scissors is going to download this so I could possibly play it, but you'll only play it once. Well, this is actually the second time we played it, but you never know when the next time will be. Uh, next Halloween. Could be. Yeah, we did play this game a while ago, and the servers were not very happy that right. day. And we only, like, I, I finally got to play as Jason, and the, the match mm-hmm. ended right away. And it was uh, kind of that was a satisfying one right there, though. Yeah, yeah I was I'm glad. I'm glad people got to see some of the some of the savagery yeah. involved. Yeah, I mean it's fun to see Jason like you know slowly and methodically hunt everyone down. Yeah, so when 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 it's retro Jason chasing you, he actually has like chip tune scary music that <laughs> follows you around. Like each Jason has their own theme song that's mm. from whichever movie they're from. Which mm. is really cool. We had the Alice Cooper version playing um, in the show intro. That's from. Dream Warriors? No, that's no. Dream Warriors is a different franchise. Sorry. I think that's from Jason Lives. Jason Lives. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to be that like. No, you're right. Yeah. Correcting everyone on Friday the Thirteenth yeah. lore. No, you're right. I got it mixed up. Dream Warriors is Dokken. That's an entirely different franchise and band and all that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Part five, Jason, who's not even truly Jason. If you've seen that film, you'll know what I'm talking about. Is part four the one with uh, Corey Feldman? Um, yeah, part four has Corey Feldman, and then he's very briefly in part five, like in a kind of flashback sequence towards the beginning of the movie. Okay, I haven't seen five. I've heard that four is isn't four like the definitive or like the most all-encompassing like yeah four true is, horror slasher. Four is probably the best one. Yeah. And then five, I think they were just trying to get creative, and it's mm. a terrible movie, if I'm perfectly <laughs> honest. Mm. Some of the Halloween movies were like that too, where they just kind of like they go off course for a while. Yeah, apparently the new Halloween's really good though. I've heard that. Yeah, it's decent. I I liked a lot of stuff in it. There's definitely like scenes and characters that kind of don't really go anywhere, but it's it's awesome like hearing the original music by John Carpenter and all that mm. stuff again. It, 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 that's cool. Oh, Gun Media says Roy is our boy. How dare you? <laughs> so hi, Gun Media. Thanks for the cool game. I mean, Roy is a contentious and divisive figure to be sure. Um, <laughs> he's, he's probably gonna he's probably gonna put some garden shears in my face sooner or later in this match. Yeah, I'm just looking around trying to find things like the boat propeller or like the car battery or, or things like that. Items so, that can help you escape. Yeah. Um, so, any special plans for Halloween? Folks in the chat, what are you doing tonight? Anything fun? Have you done anything for Halloween leading up to this? Um... <laughs> No, uh, no, I was playing, yeah, so, I was playing after. Burn. So Monday night, uh, I'll I'll start then. Uh, Monday night, I went to. Um, have you done the void? You know the VR experience with like this. They have like a Star Wars thing mainly, and they're starting to spread everywhere. Where you know it's like a full location based VR. Have you done one of those? I have not. Okay, they're awesome. You should totally check it out. Especially the Star Wars one's terrific. Uh, but the first one they actually ever built before they even built the Star Wars one, and this is maybe before Disney bought the whole thing or teamed up with them. Um, was one based on Ghostbusters, and even like Dan Aykroyd's involved, and like oh nice. Um, so they were running this. They also have a new one. They have a new horror one from Team Ninja, uh, where I don't think you actually. It's not like where you get to shoot or anything. I don't believe there's any fighting back in that. And apparently that's terrific. I think it's called Nicodemus or some the secret of Nicodemus or something like that. You mean Team um, Ninja, like like Ninja Gaiden Team Ninja? No, I'm sorry, Ninja Theory. Ninja oh okay. Theory. Um, well, Nicodemus, like Secret of Nim. 
Uh, I don't you know. You said Secret of Nicodemus, which yeah, is like I, Secret of Nim. Yeah, well, Nicodemus. Although yeah. now that you say Ninja Theory, that's kind of actually like more impressive and interesting. Right, exactly. I mean, like Hellblade's great and everything. So they developed that, and apparently it's really, really good. Um, Hellblade is amazing. That was probably my game of the year. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, he's getting close. He's somewhere around. That means that when you see the VHS glitch, it means that he warped nearby. Oh, got it. So he's. He's close somewhere. Oh, no. Anyway, so they were having a bunch of problems that night. We, so we had to wait around for quite a while, but we were still able to get in and do the um, and do the experience. And you're like Ghostbusters, and you have your, you know, proton mm -hmm. packs. And, That's cool. Uh, you know, Stay Puff Man, and, like, you get slimed by Slimer during it, and Marshmallow. It's awesome. Like, as a Ghostbuster, and Dan Aykroyd's, like, you know, yelling at you the whole time, and uh, it, it was terrific. It was really, really cool. You have to cross the streams, like the whole, mm -hmm. the whole thing. It's just, it was great. It was really, really fun. So, uh, like, if you have a chance to go do the Ghostbusters one, um, they weren't running it as much because they're running the Nicodemus stuff a lot more, and the Ghostbusters only running like on certain nights and then like most mornings. Um, mm -hmm. But it was really, really cool. You said there's a Star Wars one somewhere? Yeah, that was the main one. So even, they have them, they'll use it at the same location, they just switch out. I don't know if the lay. I actually don't know if the floor layouts are the same, like, and they just map to that floor layout, or if they just move some walls around and it's kind of modular so they can reconfigure it pretty easily. Um, but they have a Star Wars one that is really awesome and, like, even is themed in with, like, Rogue One characters and videos from the Rogue One characters and stuff. They should have um, the Star Wars one be, like, a white screen and they just hang you upside down and you're like oh look i'm luke skywalker in the beginning of uh, empire oh nice uh, and then you have to i could set that one up i'll yeah. just like get a white room and just hang people from it the you ceiling, probably need to make upside it cold. down you probably need to make it cold oh that's no problem i'll make it cold oh no he's near 10 bucks oh god yeah he's right there he's yeah. right on top of you he's chasing you well i can get out and run faster than this yeah <laughs> You keep catching me off guard with those. <laughs> this is the vehicle's top speed. <laughs> um, the question is, is he still stalking you? Probably. Unless he spotted someone else who seemed slower and easier to catch, maybe. Uh oh. He's somewhere close by. and then this Oh, he's right behind you. There's a red dot. A red dot on the radar is him, right? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Oh, he's running on the outside of the building. He's going around the other side. Where are you at, Roy? <laughs> oh, God, where is he? <laughs> there he is, there he is. Uh -oh. oh. What's he doing? Is he lost? Or is he trying to go back around? He thought you were leaving. There you go, 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 climb through the window. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Run into the forest, run, run, run. Oh, he must be right there because the guy's aiming at him. Yeah, he's got to be somewhere nearby. Maybe you should run the other way from that guy and let him be the bait. So you're saying split up in a horror movie? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> if you want to run someone else. Maybe we should split up. <laughs> you got to survive. you got to find the car battery. Uh, yeah, the Star Wars one's great, though, because you basically are masquerading as stormtroopers, and it's really fun. I, I, I definitely am. Like it's been searched already. Looks like Jason is down towards the bottom left of my mini map. Down yeah, there, so well, that's good. Going after that guy. My character's out of stamina, so I can't run very fast. So what I'm gonna do is try to go in here and shut the door and fly low for a second. Thank you. And maybe if I'm lucky, there will be a car battery or something like that. In here car right out there, but can't really do much if I don't have the... Start the car. You need car keys to do that, which uh, are found in the drawers, mm -hmm. which is why the game frequently involves opening drawers, because those car keys are extremely useful. And sometimes you get screwed because... Are we learning yet? <laughs> uh, the worst is when someone has the keys and Jason kills them out in the woods and nobody will find them anywhere. I don't think. Oh, because they're dead. Yeah, like it's just like it's not even in a drawer at that point. It's just in some random place that you'd have to happen upon it. Although I think one of the updates they started showing the keys on the mini map if somebody had like picked them up and dropped them. 
Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, man. Oh, man. Justin, you should have dressed up as Danny Cooksey, who's the guy that's on the back of the motorcycle with John Connor, like when they go to the mall. And he's the kid from Salute Your Shorts. He has like a red mullet and... Um, Man, that would have been. Then we would have won the costume contest as a as a group, co uh, like costume. Oh, uh, true repair items are shown on the map when a counselor drops them. Now, okay. apparently, it says Gun Media, and they they probably know what they're they talking they know about. what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, Radam says, "Aren't you a little old for that costume, Corey?" I didn't see you in the uh, costume contest today, Swole Adam. Uh, Adam, come on in here and I'll have the Terminator pick you up by your hair. Now he's a twerp, you jock douchebag. Uh, Motorcyclius. Dan. Dan Dop, 1984. Joey, chi Joey Two Chins. Thank you all for following. <laughs> Appreciate that very much. I love the name Joey Two Chins, I have to say. Yeah, that's great. Like, it, it just gives such a wonderful mental picture. Yeah. Oh, that's not uh -oh. good. It's like somebody ate it. Left some health things around. <gasps> oh, no. Who is that? My character that just now me. noticed that there's a dead person on the <laughs> Well, you know. Maybe she was right on top of the car keys. Did oh, you already have the car battery, right? There's two cars. Oh, it's a oh the four seat car. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about what to do. Like, because if you take that, is it like take up your whole? You have to. Well, I have weapon. to put down my bat yeah. basically. And chances are you don't have the keys already, so you're probably kind of hosed. Yeah, I mean I can install the battery in the other car that doesn't already have a battery and hope that maybe somebody else will find the keys. The keys are up at Burrow Lane, says Gun Media. Uh, Burrow Lane. Oh, yeah, I see him on the map there. So, actually, I probably don't need this car battery, but I... You want the keys. Yeah. Because if you get the keys, you can get out of here, right? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I can see the keys on my map. Oh, so someone did get them and drop them? Yeah. I think Gun Media was trying to help me out, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, they'd be on the map, and I didn't really actually, like, look at it. No, they, they really are on the map. My keys, where are you at? Are they in the building? Oh, no, they're right there. Yeah. It's like something. Icon. Yeah, yeah. Are they on the other side of the wall? They might be inside the building. Thank you, Gun Media. Oh, oh, oh he was right. Oh, well, there you go. Somebody had the keys and then yeah, got killed, got splattered. You know, if I'm Jason and I know that's the situation, I probably would bait the keys. Because you know, once the keys show up on the mini map, it's like, oh well, maybe if I just go over there and grab them. Like that seems like it's a good place to hang out if people yeah. know they're there. Well, he's there. Uh, he is. He is close. Yeah, smart Jasons ah! will prioritize the counselor objectives. Be oh god, he's right there, huh? <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh god. He is close. And that's... So he was... He may have been baiting you, because he wasn't that far away. Yeah, I mean, if he's playing smart, he would be hanging right around there. Go, run, run, Forrest! Get to that car! Get to the car! I'm gonna see if I can get there. Even if you get to the car, he can, like, warp in front of it and smash the hood and stuff like that. It's certainly not, like, the end of the match if you get to the car. That's not the right car. That's the four-seat car. Yeah, that's the other one. So the other one is farther to the southeast, but I'm going to run out of stamina again, so I have to just kind of run slow. I hope he doesn't catch me. Maybe he didn't see which way he went. I hope not. Yeah. Uh, let's see... Does Jason get to see the keys on the map? I don't think he does, maybe? Uh -oh. oh, no, he just, he's warping to catch up yeah. to you, huh? Oh, there he is, huh? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so close! 
<laughs> oh yeah, he's totally after you, huh? And you're out of stamina? Pretty much, yeah. Go, 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 go! That bought you what, like yeah. 15 seconds tops? Yeah, seconds. Maybe if he rip, car. if he blows it, I can start the car, maybe. Uh, dead people right next to the car. He's right on you. <laughs> no! Uh, no! I'm screwed. Ah. Uh, oh. I was trying to throw my, my fireworks that would have stunned him for a moment, but it still would have been huh? tight. So anyway. close. So close. See, that's what I love about this game. Like, every time I play this game, I come out of it with, like, an interesting story that mm -hmm. happened, or, like, I almost got yeah. away, or whatever. That's a lot of, like, emergent gameplay and emergent storytelling. Oh, man, that was great. This is a close call. Yeah. Okay. Can we invite Key in Prime, or is it going to be a full uh, lobby? Um, I could probably back out of the back out of the lobby once it lets me, and then I'd have to join up again. Because it would probably fill back up before I'd be able to send him an invite. Key in A H is what he says. Right. Oh, like my heart's racing from that. <laughs> or is that uh, from Shirtless Spider-Man being in the building? I don't know. That was pretty exciting, I have to say. No, no. My heart's still racing, James. <laughs> Justin. Uh, maybe, uh, I wonder how your mom's doing with that. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, there's a shirtless man with a Spider-Man mask on. I'm, I'm sure she's... It's almost like, uh, like the Mexican wrestling. Uh, 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 Luchador? Yeah. So I sent an invite, I guess, I'm trying to think, should I jump into quick play and, and give him some time to hop in or, or see what he's going to do? All right, you had the invite. He should. He said you're sitting there waiting for it, so hopefully okay. he's in in just a second. Yeah, I've not really fiddled with parties and invites in this game too much, so I'm not really sure how the, how the UI will show it. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday, good enough to 15th birthday. He, uh, I hope you get some good candy. I'll probably start searching for the axe. It takes long enough. I guess Gun Media is saying that AJ is an office favorite. Like the, mm. the counselor AJ. She's kind of the punk rock girl. Oh, uh, okay. Did he get in? No. Troll him, please. I'm going to leave with the party because it put me into a full match where he would have been able to get in. He said he didn't get the invite, so okay. again. Yeah, goodness. Invite to party. Kian, you're making our show about inviting someone to a party. I hope you know. If you don't get this one, you're out! Out of the family! Out of the party, at least. So I'm guessing that's you with Kian. The there, yeah. That's Spider Man. It. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it should be sent. It is sent. Oh, Hyper Rush! Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. I'm wondering who will show up at the bottom next to you. I would imagine, hopefully so, because there has to be some indication that you're in a party. Mm -hmm. You'd think so. I mean, it does say your party leader, which is kind of it, but like you think it would just put the next person's name yeah. or something down there. Come on, Kian. It's not two or two. It's two. There you go. T O O. Yeah. T -O. yeah. Good job. Yeah. I love this stream. We have grammar correction <laughs> and like 80s slasher horror. Yep. All in one place. Uh, well. Unless I'm going to actually go to the XMB and send him an invite. No. What the hell? Why am I not getting it? Well, just quick play. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, not we sure what happened there. I mean, we saw on the stream that I sent yeah. an invite twice. Yep. Oh, you can try and quick play too, and maybe you'll get matched in the same match. Looks like Key and Prime has no fate. No fate, but what he makes for yeah. himself. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna imitate the part where he voice cracks doing yelling Miles Bennett Dyson. 
I can't even do it. Like, you need to be going through puberty to be able to say it the way yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. They actually had to re-record all of John Connor's lines in Terminator 2 are ADR dubbed in post by the actor because he was going through puberty when they were filming and at the very beginning when they started filming his voice sounded way different than at the end and the lines were not matching up mm. so they just re-recorded everything so it'd be inconsistent yeah did a good job syncing that all up yeah well it's James I yeah. just promised How many times would you say you've seen any, that film? Too many. <laughs> it is the film, though. Uh, have you seen that video that this guy made that's like a concept artist and he was talking about like the three parts of the brain and how it gets, um, uh, when you're watching a movie like Terminator, like the genius of it and why it taps into all the different layers of the brain, like the, the lizard brain that's just like a lot of explosions and you know, car chases and stuff, but then like the intermediate part where it's like um, character progression and stuff, and then the higher part, even above that, which is like really hard to tap into, that's like symbolism and things like that. That sounds like a pretty awesome video. Yeah, it's like a like a presentation he did, and it's... I would imagine yeah. the lizard brain would enjoy Terminator 2 as much as anyone would. Yeah, but then I guess his point was like, um, like a Michael Bay movie is like all lizard brain. It doesn't really have the other stuff, whereas what's so great about it, Terminator 2, why it's like better than any other like action movie is yeah. because it does all the layers it has it all so there's like subconscious stuff I'll link it to you later it's really cool okay. oh is remaster is the kid saying something on the server apparently there was some kid like who's talking in the game we can't hear we can't hear the uh, chat. yeah we in the room cannot hear the the chat that's happening like in the actual game itself mm. um I Gun Media has T2 Skynet edition So you've defeated gun media now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a James Cameron obsessor, so. It talks about all the recurring symbolism where, like, the Terminator steps on the rose when he's, you know, well, walking over to SDK. meet John for the first time, SDK, and then it steps on the sunglasses later, and um, the, the motorcycle getting crushed under the big rig. There's all yeah. these motifs of things right. getting crushed and repeating visual cues, and the way that the Terminator is being humanized from the beginning of the movie, it's a robot killer, right. and then being humanized, and while that path is going this way, then Sarah Connor is going from being human to being Terminator, turning right. into a Terminator, which it all, like, um, kind of, oh, right when she comes out of the, um, she, in the desert, she just all dressed all in black to go kill Miles Dyson. And oh, that's, like, man! When the switch wow. gets flipped. You're Jason again? Yeah. They're Sweet. There, Jason. I usually never get Jason get twice in one, like, play session, so this is pretty insane. Yeah. Yeah, I always like the what they do with the sunglasses in part mm -hmm. one and part two, because yeah. in part one, he seems like this kind of weird human guy mm -hmm. until, you know, you find out what he is and he puts on the sunglasses and right. it becomes this like robot bug thing where you can't see his eyes basically. Right. And then in the second oh. film, they reverse that, like where he has the sunglasses right at the beginning. But then once John starts humanizing him. I right, feel like that guy did not anymore. see you coming. Well, the match just started. I think he Tough thought you were him. another person. Yeah. Uh, it's nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah. Um, everyone in the chat wants to know your thoughts on James Cameron's Avatar. <laughs> oh, well, first off, I've said this before, I'll say it again. When Arnold Schwarzenegger was like presenting at awards shows for James Cameron, who won many, many awards for Avatar, he'd always be like, He's a fabulous friend of mine. I worked together with him on three movies, The Terminator, A True Lies, The Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and now I present to you James Cameron's Abadar. So you loved it. Visually, I love Avatar. The world building, the design, the technological breakthroughs are classic James Cameron. The characters, the dialogue, the plot, the casting decisions are like being waterboarded by a swamp water. It's just like, oh, so you're gonna have Michelle Rodriguez be like, ah, I'm really tough. 
and then you're gonna have Giovanni Ribisi being like, look at all that cheddar. I'm like, dude, this movie sucks. Come on now, come on. And it's just Dances with Wolves with a Smurfs thing, like just like, you know, South Park made fun of it. They're totally right. But then you look at like the creature design and the blue people design and the world design and you know, it's like, that's amazing. It is so amazing. And it changed filmmaking. Although it's maybe in a bad way because we made all this 3D crap for like a decade and they finally stopped doing it. But So that's my thoughts on Avatar. I'd agree with that mostly. I I'm kind of surprised with your complaint about Michelle Rodriguez. This whole ass hates you. I mean, it's kind of the same type of character that she plays in like Fast and the Furious. And right, like and that's that. not a character I get from James Cameron. Remember um, in Aliens, there's yeah. a character Vasquez. Yeah, who, yeah. by the way, is Janelle in Terminator 2, the stepmom. Right, same yeah, yeah. And but I, anyway. She's also in Titanic if we want to go. Oh, yeah, the yeah. There you go. There you go. So Also a great James Cameron. Yes. Too. Yeah. So. Vasquez is like way more interesting and well written and realized with the same basic archetype as Michelle Rodriguez's character in Avatar. I think he was too busy with all the technical stuff and then the plot and character stuff was kind of like did not get his full attention. Yeah, I mean I think it's like the movie is so expensive to make that maybe he just mm -hmm. wanted to make something that he knew would work. It's like when you, pick, out? when you pick people up, you have to like have enough space to do the special kills. So sometimes she, she might have had two pocket knives as well. Oh, but not this time. Third time's the charm. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> oh, accident <laughs> shot. Kill Dacula. Yeah. yeah. Um. I watched, uh, I, I, I recently rewatched Avatar uh, in 3D uh, on a great 3D set. Uh, this was before the Avatar Land opened in Orlando, and I went down there to check out the Avatar um, set up the Disney built. Uh, and I, I still like them a good bit. I think it's actually really good. I think it's a little underrated. Um, I do think it's not necessarily his most memorable story. Like, it's like you remember the world more than you remember the story. I would totally say that, but... Sam Worthington sucks too. He's had no career because he's not a good actor. And he's got this really thick Australian accent that he's trying to hide and it's not working. Mm. I want to love the movie. I want to love it. The story and the characters are not good. Are you excited for the sequels? Uh, no. I want him to make other stuff. I was excited when I heard he was making sequels, and then like nine years passed, know, like, and there's been really yeah. like, anything. They're coming up though, like, I think next year's the first one. Adam, oh, really? Adam is defending it. The movie is a universal story that literally everyone can get. There's a reason why it grossed as much as it. It's not like Dances with Wolves was original either. I mean, that's fair enough. Dude, it's so- okay, here's the thing. The battle at the end sucks. Okay, you're gonna have this big war. Oh no, the battle's crazy. No, no, here's why the battle sucks. They have the fortress, the humans have this fortress outpost with guard towers that they show in the beginning of the movie. So when I see, and then they have the tank rolling in and it has arrows on the side of it. Or not a tank, it's like a big tractor. It has big arrows in the side of it. And you see the scale, the size of the arrows, and you realize that the Navi are like twice as big as humans. Right. And you're thinking, well, they're foreshadowing that there's gonna be some like, fortress battle they're gonna break into the fortress and they're gonna have to like overcome these turrets and stuff no it's all in the freaking sky and then there's like that nerd dude like gets shot in the arm down at the ground level and like the b battle that doesn't count it was like oh so not satisfying there were no military tactics so in usual james cameron movies there are great military tactics with like the way that the battles happen and unfold and then in avatar the setup of the battle was like a little kid playing with their toys. Oh, let's just have the whole convoy, all every single ship that we got, just gonna fly in one formation down the middle there. Oh, we got ambushed! They came at us in an angle we didn't expect. Oh, we all got blown up. It's like, who does that? It's a trap right there. It would have been more cool to see like 20 or 30 of the Na'vi who were like the only surviving warriors after their tree got blown up to like infiltrate the base. Oh, on foot nice. and like use their Navi ingenuity to oh, like she's done. stealth she's kill done. people and stuff. She's done. She got nothing unless she has a pocket knife. Ah. 
She I mean, she did. It's like when other people play, they find so many pocket knives everywhere. And then when I'm a counselor, I can never find one, it seems like. Slightly ill-placed fireworks. Yeah, that yeah, we'll walk right them. around them. Yeah. Oh, and another knife. More fright, more, more slowdown. Yeah. She has the sweater, don't let her get away. Part 8 Jason right now. He cannot run, but he has other abilities. Is that Jason in New York? Or is that Jason Goes to Hell? Um, that is from Jason Takes Manhattan. Yeah, yes. Jason Takes Manhattan. That's what yeah. I meant, yeah. Yeah. Are you confusing that with Ernest Goes to New York? Yeah, <laughs> Ernest Scared Stupid. It's pretty yeah. much like every every 80s <laughs> movie franchise has to do that at some point. Yeah. Time. Home Alone Goes to New York. Yeah. Yeah, they got to that pretty quickly in the home. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Second time out. I still love the idea that the Home Alone kid is the guy from Saw. This is my favorite. It's my favorite. Oh one. yeah, yeah. Like he's gotten more ambitious. Turn the tables. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like he's like now he's he made a career out of it. He's got the shotgun though, so. You got the window? Yeah. Holy cow! No, how did the window's closed? Where'd he go? How did you like the Last Jedi? Loved it. Oh, see, he's he said he he's baiting us. Mm -hmm. He wants us to get in a debate about it. We've already talked about that. Yeah. You have any last Jedi thoughts? I do. I don't. No, not I don't you. want to get onto it. Oh, okay. I liked it. Okay. I didn't. I wasn't as appalled by like Luke Skywalker drinking weird animal milk and stuff like the the things that other people complain about. Mm -hmm. That didn't bother me. I just kind of felt like the the whole like casino planet sort of yeah. didn't really Valid. go yeah. anywhere. Um. I Art wasn't nearly Genera. as harsh on it as some other people were, though. Good night, Art of Genera. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, check the closet. Oh, they think he's in the closet. Could be. Yeah, sometimes people just hide. And, and it almost worked there. We'd like. Yeah. Oh, he was in the closet. No. Have you seen that hip hopera about being trapped in the closet? <laughs> How is he not shooting you though? Well, he has the chance. He's trying to ring around the rosy around this thing. Where'd he go? <laughs> Did he go out here? No, he's right back there. <laughs> this is a valid strategy for the counselors. Like, if they want to, like, tie slow, you up for a while. Slow Jason down so that then, like, other people could no, be fixing a car right now or whatever. <laughs> See, yeah, I didn't do my normal thing of like setting traps near the objectives. So this is one thing that I really like about my apartment. I have a setup where you could do an infinite loop like this. There are lots of apartments and, and houses and stuff where it's like just a series of dead ends. So if the killer's in your house, you're just trapped. But I have a situation in my place. My bedroom has two doors and I could just loop forever if someone was after me, assuming I could outrun them. One time when I was like five or six, I did something really bad, like my parents were gonna take me out to dinner and I like got all muddy in the backyard like 10 minutes before we were supposed to go. And my dad started chasing me around the house and it was seven laps before he finally caught me. I just warped out of there. I just wanted to get him out of there so he'd run somewhere else and I'd catch him somewhere else. Let's see. I think I've already knocked out the power there. What if the killer locked one of the doors behind him? So, in my setup, I actually have a doorway with no door on it. Oh. Isn't this just where you were with him, though? Yeah. Oh! Get up, Jason. At least now he's unarmed. Sometimes if you warp away, people kind of get get antsy and they run away and they'll... So don't them. forget about stock. Yeah, I was using stock earlier. Okay. Is that a throwable? Yeah. So if you get a clear line of sight on him, he's just gone now? No, uh, he's just using that. He, he knows you're trying to throw, so he's hiding behind the other side of the thing. He's pretty good, actually. Yeah, this is a pretty good player, and it's it's a valid strategy, as you can see. There are things that... Yeah, it's like being odd job in Goldeneye. 
You should be able to knock over the furniture or something if they do that. Oh. Well, and it seems like... Uh, uh, I'm gonna go find someone else to, to go after. Maybe there's somebody going for the phone. Because he was pretty good at that. How much candy did we eat? I'm just chewing one piece of gum. It's barely candy at all. That's it. I used to eat a bunch of Halloween candy when I was little, but now I do it, and I just get a stomach ache and a bunch of regret, so I try not to anymore. Being grown up sucks. <laughs> Might as well replenish my throwing knife and while I'm out. Uh, What's your guys' favorite candy bar? Snickers. Snickers. Normal Snickers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Josh? Yeah, I like Snickers a lot, or like Nestle Crunch, or... I like a bunch of Crunch. Yeah. Kit Kat. Kit Kat's good. I'm Butterfinger all the way. Somebody's screaming somewhere. They're called Sweets? <laughs> Sweet! Yeah, like Sweeties, you know? That's the same guy, right? Yeah. Well, I guess it could be a different player. But it looks like he's doing the same thing. It probably strategy. is Tommy Jarvis. It, it's the same guy, because only, only one Tommy Jarvis can spawn. Oh man, I got a sneeze coming. I'm surprised he's not running out of stamina. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like this guy is like taking all your time. There it is. And pocket knife. Fucking A. Wow. <laughs> wow. I think he might be the only player huh. left though, because I haven't seen anyone else show up on my little like sight radar. Oh, so not you didn't have a full match then? No. There you go. Uh, all right. Take him out. God, that's satisfying. Yeah. That little twerp. He did pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah, he was they the last one. To die, Jason. Make them suffer. Uh, did yeah. I kill shirt with Spider Man? No, he just had to run off with a with a thing. Oh, Tommy spawns with a pocket knife. Yeah, he's the he's like the hero who's mm. who's fought Jason and survived before. So he shows up like with a shotgun and a pocket knife. He's actually one of the. It'll be one of the first players who gets killed in the match. They'll respawn as Tommy Jarvis so they can keep playing. He killed... He killed... MacGyver always has a pocket knife on him. He killed five out of six. All I gotta say, I've been watching more MacGyver, and that show is starting to lose its luster. <laughs> <laughs> it was good for a couple seasons. It was great, and then it kind of got a little... The novelty wore off. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> he over narrates with like really cheesy stuff. That's the problem. Uh, can we get shirtless Spider-Man back? No, you'll have to go back and watch the replay of the beginning of the show. And if Justin doesn't scrub it from the internet for me, which he might. Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> no. Worth it though, I think. Mm -hmm. I just wish Greg had seen. You're gonna get James Gunn. <laughs> It'd be like a billion copies of screenshots of it. Guess we do another match, I guess. Yeah, I think we got time for one more. I think that guy who ring around the rosy me for 15 minutes quit out of this lobby, so hopefully. <laughs> yeah. He was yeah. mad someone finally yeah. got him. Yeah. That was a pretty good run, though. It's like. It's tough though, because it's like he's not advancing. He's not gonna if he's the last no, person. He, it's like he can't, he's not gonna be able to win that way. All no. he can do is indefinitely stalemate it. Yeah, I mean it's like it's a very tense way to play, and I, you know it's like you have to sit there and be sweating and watching mm -hmm. Jason and seeing what's going on, and, and like it's unlikely that you'll be able to do it for the entire time limit of the whole match. And what is also, the time limit? It's twenty minutes. Okay, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's always more fun and more interesting to go after the objectives. 
and then you can help other people escape, or you can, you know, you can get in the car and start running over other counselors if you want, and stuff like that. Oh, it's nice. more interesting. Mm. See, the problem in horror movies is if someone abandons everybody, or like, let's say that like you're fast and you're with someone who's a little bit slow, and instead of helping them, you like shove them over and run away. You almost always have an immediate consequence, where like then you'll like run into a trap. Yeah, it's or like the. It's like the unseen, like, order of the universe. I'm yeah, like, yeah. So there's, person there's like, like, an honor code. It's all about the honor code is who survives Yeah. for the most part. Not necessarily who's the fastest or even who's the smartest or the most um, careful. Right. It's just, like, who's the most honorable. But then if you're too honorable, you just do a noble sacrifice. Right. right? So it's, like, it's tough. I kind so you of, have to be, like... 80 percent honorable yeah yeah like honorable enough to be a good person but not so honorable that the audience doesn't like you yeah yes exactly like not a boy scout or something and then i kind of want to see a horror movie where the guy that's like a jerk and just shoves someone down to get away gets away but in this game you can run over people in the car and then escape and get away with so them. so let's try to make that happen <laughs> Oh, so if he does stall you out indefinitely, he would win. If the timer runs yeah, out. Yeah, if the timer runs out, they would they would get the bonus points for surviving. Mm. Um, but they would have to do that for a long time, and they'd have to be very committed to it. Right. I mean, like, you may have realized at that point there's no way he's alone and you're stalking him, and he's probably going to get an objective. Yeah, so yeah. his only option at that point might have been. Oh, you got my number. Uh, what? You really like Avatar for real, or are you just clowning me? No, I think it's a good, I think it's a solid movie. I think it gets a lot of undue hate. It is a solid movie. It's yeah. not a solid James Cameron movie. You gotta understand, James Cameron is like Michael Jordan, and we're all like Peter Dinklage, okay? Like at basketball. Oh. At basketball. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, <laughs> like, I don't know what everyone's size has to do with this, but. Right. So it's like. It's like if Michael Jordan has a game where he scores like 18 points and his team wins by two. It's like. Okay, sure, that's good. It's not Michael Jordan good at all. Uh, but it made one of the best in party areas in existence. It is true, that Avatar area in Disney World is pretty amazing. It's great. Uh, Gun Media says we call betrayals leaving. Oh, it's Swell Adam, everyone by yourself. Have yeah, you, can, you just walk in. You just walk in and take a seat. So we're not Everybody. yelling at you off screen. I don't know, Uh. Gun Media says we call betrayals leaving in a vehicle by yourself and running over friends pulling a Chad <laughs> because yeah. Chad is a dick. So Chad's the preppy guy that you see screaming in the little like beginning cutscene at the beginning of every match. He's like the guy with, with like preppy like sweater draped mm. over his shoulders and stuff like You've that. You've been doing really well this this. Uh, it's true. You won twice yeah. as, as, as Jason and you almost had the car. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Uh... Best Friday the 13th movie. I don't have an opinion on this because I haven't watched them all, and the ones I have watched, I haven't watched for a very long time. Sorry. Four is the one that when you think in your mind about, like, what do these slasher films entail, like, what is a solid slasher film, so four is the one that kind of, like, checks most of the boxes, and it's, like, the traditional Yeah, and it, it definitely has the most interesting, like, weird character arcs that actually feel like they're going somewhere until the character gets an axe in their face or whatever. Mm. Um, I have seen none of them. Uh, Sounds like we know what you have to do the rest of the yeah. night. <laughs> I just saw Halloween, though. Oh, the new one? No, the original. Oh. It's good. But it's I good. Love it. I love it. It is good. Classic is good. movie. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. I enjoyed it. Sounds like I don't have to watch any of the other ones. <laughs> uh, so, I have kind of a soft spot for Halloween H2O, <laughs> which was... <laughs> Halloween the, water. That was the first time that they kind of tried to say, oh, we're bringing back Jamie Lee Curtis and yeah. we're pretending right. that half of the previous movies never Right. Is Ja Rule in that? I hope so. Um, no, 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 no. no. It's, um, it's LL Cool J, isn't oh. it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Really? Than, He's, like, so much more legit than Ja Rule. I don't... What? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong, but what does that mean? Like... Like I don't, I don't understand. The movie would have been more on my radar because he was in Deep Blue Sea around the same time, yep. and he stole the show from Tom Jane. He uh -huh. was the best part of that movie. Deep uh -huh. Blue Sea was great. Okay. So he's Man, like a prolific you got '90s a shotgun and a pocket knife. Right? I know. This, oh, is, sure. this place is a gold mine. I mean, those are like the only two movies he's done. 
LL Cool J? Yeah. No, he did the Rollerball remake, dude. Where you been? <laughs> Not watching Rollerball remake, I and guess. He did Any Given Sunday. Have you seen that? I did. That's probably I, the I best watched, football movie. I just watched Any Given Sunday when I flew back from Europe a few weeks ago. That movie's wow. great. Uh, on the flight. Yeah, it was good. Or maybe it was, was on the way there. I don't remember. I don't like know. when I worked in a movie theater concession stand when I was 16 or mm-hmm. whatever, Any Given Sunday was like in the theater. Mm-hmm. So I would go and watch like 10 minutes of it and not really know what was going on. <laughs> and like that's my experience with that movie. Nice. You can watch that whole movie at times and not really know what's going on. Dude, Al Pacino. He's I remember sweet in that movie. Yeah, he's really great. not liking it. It's what? R- yeah. The one thing I will say about it is it's very, like, like it was, like, trying to be, like, almost... It was, like, one of those early movies that tried to kind of go to the fast cuts of, like, music videos and stuff. Yeah. And it does a ton of that. Um, which I think at the time was considered... Oh, why is she... What is going on here? Oh, oh she she's got caught. Well, trap. she's been oh, she's... very badly wounded, and she's setting a trap. Oh. So that's not good. Set it well, there is a music video in she the movie, actually, down. with um, um, Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like, my name is Willie. Bohemian. You know. Yeah. <laughs> what? Key and Primes is going to see Bohemian Rhapsody. Jamie tomorrow. Foxx is a music video. What's the whole? Can you go through more of it? No, because the next part is inappropriate. Thing. It's oh. sexual. Yeah, let's do it. Well, we had shirtless Spider-Man here. Yeah. He's like, all right, we're already see, banned from Twitch. That? My name is Willie. No, Bohemian. I got the girls. Creamin. And then it cuts away. That happened. Yeah. He was here. He was in the office. Didn't didn't stop to sign autographs though, unfortunately. Good job, Corey. Yeah, you asked for it. It's probably like the only good Spider-Man we had here. <laughs> We've had plenty of Spider-Mans, but there's only. There's I only wanted someone one. to dress up as the Danny DeVito Man Spider. Can't yeah, believe no one did been, that. Yeah. That would have been really good. I think that takes like you'd need to have a certain correct physique in order to pull that off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's three hundred. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. do it. Just like you need a certain physique for shirtless Spider-Man. Mm. Yeah, Team Fat. That's right. <laughs> Woo! I mean, I'd love to see Swall Adam do the Danny DeVito. <laughs> no, it just wouldn't look the same. wouldn't look right. Oh, you didn't like your shotgun anymore? Did I? You drop dropped it. it. You switched it for the bike. I think I was so engaged in witty banter that I forgot <laughs> I even had the shotgun. And I, I'm used to looking at the character like holding a, a, like a melee weapon in their hand. I w- wasn't really looking at what she had on her back. Yeah. Uh, Josh, what is your favorite horror game? My favorite horror game? Yeah. Um, really comes down to either Silent Hill 1 or Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill 3. Mm. Like, depending on which mm. day of the week you ask me. Like, Well, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, probably <laughs> 3. Okay. James, um, how about you? Mm, shit, that's really difficult. Uh, Are you a big horror guy? Uh, I, I played all the early Silent Hill games. I definitely think they're up there. I think the Evil Within games are really good. I think uh, the uh, Resident Evil 1 and 2. You were almost um, a Jill Sandwich. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> especially the remake of Resident Evil 1 on GameCube was just so good. Um, the one that I'll, I'll, I'll throw one out that maybe you haven't played or heard of is a game on the like original PlayStation called DEFCON 5, um, where you're essentially alone on a space station, and like you're on the space station, but everyone's gone, and there's aliens invading it, and you have to sneak around and like escape. Uh, and it's like first person. What and platform is that? That's sweet. Just PlayStation, PlayStation Dreamcast. Play- maybe it's on Dreamcast. PlayStation One, Dreamcast, on, Saturn. Maybe PlayStation oh, wow. One, Saturn, something like that. Oh. Um, and I remember like that game just freaking me out because you'd spend you know so long hiding and going around and collecting mm-hmm. stuff, and then suddenly there'd be an alien in a corridor with you, and you hear it, and you're like, no! And, and when you die, you start over. <laughs> oh wow! So like it was. Um, That's cool. That's a good choice. Yeah, it was a good game. It was cool. cool. Um, so that that stands out to me um, beyond nice. just the obvious Resident Evil. And- sure, sure. Yeah, I love Resident Evil One where Chris is like. He leaves and, and finds Uh-oh. that first zombie, and then he comes back, and he's like, what happened to Jill and Wesker? <laughs> yeah. Like, he just says it so slowly. Like he, like yeah, the he, voice acting's fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the live-action um, video at the beginning of the game, too. Yeah, which is actually, like, very creepy in terms of how it's filmed and everything, <laughs> mm-hmm. but the acting just totally... Yeah. this dude just yeah. running in a circle. What are you doing, Chad? Resident Fucking Chad. Evil. And it does the little like lineup of all the characters, and they stand there, and like whoosh, fire comes up behind them and stuff, and they're like, hmm. it's like so early '90s. I'm gonna leave him running around in circles because 
that's what he likes to do. Do you lift on holidays like Halloween Good and Christmas? Media says that's a rubber bander. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm going to the gym today after work. Oh yeah. Is it opening? Yet? Yeah. This one? Oh sorry, sorry. No, 24 hour fitness. Oh. Our gym doesn't open until December. That's like. Uh, can you go to the gym with me? Sure. Why not? It's ruining our frisbee that the gym here is closed. We didn't play again today. We're supposed to play every Wednesday. Ultimate frisbee. Yeah. Oh, you have, you have no showers. We didn't play it because there's no showers, so then that means a couple people drop out, and then there's this domino effect, then more people drop out, then we don't have enough to play a game. Mm -hmm. It's tragic. Oh, that gym, that gym closure. It's probably for the best, because frisbee is dumb. Oh, man. man. Listen, man, you're such a troll. there are guys swollen than you that play frisbee, all it's right? And they'll the snap point. you like a twig. It's, wait, why, right. why did, there's guys swollen than me that do literally everything in the world. Yeah, like Abdul. No, but, but <laughs> exactly. no. Well, he doesn't play frisbee, though, but yes, that's true. But, no, we got, that's there's a lot a, of swole boys that play frisbee, all right? Who we, cares, We got though. Brandon, we got Nick, we mm -hmm. got myself. Sure. Three swole boys right but there. But what does that matter? I'm just kidding. I'm it's, still a, it's still a, a game intended for, for pets. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everyone's so hot on soccer, like in the entire world, Yeah. and you don't use your hands. Okay. okay. What separates us from beasts? Hands, okay? Now, only a couple <laughs> animals use hands, but most of them don't because they're just beasts. You know, right? it, it's a game played by for dogs, right? Of like, course. you understood what I was getting at. What are right? dogs? Is that they are how man's you best see friend. IP? That's what they are. So it's okay? man's best friend's game. So you're what's you're, wrong with playing um, a game with your best friend? Eh? Eh? So that sounds like a pretty good game to me. You're culturally culturally appropriating dog culture by by playing frisbee. I, think, I don't get you left your gun. Again, I think that's great to do. I, you know what? I will say this too. I was playing Red shit. Dead. Yeah. Let I me tell you about something somewhere. totally nefarious <laughs> I did in Red Dead. I was playing Red Dead and I realized I needed money and it takes too long to hunt animals. So I went out to some guy's ranch and I waited till nighttime and then I shot him with a bow and arrow and I massacred all of his livestock and made pelts out of them and sold them. And he had a border collie that came up to me and I pet it and tamed it and walked around with it. And I did not kill the dog and I killed everything else okay. because it's my best friend. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> That story, man. You know there's like a gold bar exploit glitch you can go do to get all the money you want so you don't have to kill everything. Oh. You do use your hands in football. It's funny, too, because sh there's an ox that was asleep, and I was like, oh, I'll just go point blank, shoot it in the face, and then like get the pelt for it. And I like pressed the wrong button, and it woke up and charged me, and I just like, bam, 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 with a shotgun, and there was like poor pelt quality, so I got like a dollar for it, and I was like, man, this, it wasn't <laughs> worth it. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Who is that? Oh my god, Don't I, kick I can't her. look. <laughs> That's great. No. <laughs> no. Ragdoll. <laughs> uh, Gun Media says, so we all know who's going to turn into a slasher killer soon. Corey? Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's definitely. what's so fun about the game is that you can do stuff like that. No, I saved the dog, guys. I saved the dog. I'm humane. Yeah, that was a weird story. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. What are sheep for? Why do they have sheep at farms? What? What's the point of sheep? Oh god, he's throwing for, at you. Oh god, he's right there! Meat and you for, for meat. And yes, for meat for, and for wool. Yeah. That's what I did. I used the sheep for meat and for wool in the game. So yeah, how does that make me psycho? No, no, no. I think it's more... It's just like... Like, who cares? <laughs> have you played Red Dead? Before? No, I Oh, it's fun, dude. You gotta play it. <laughs> I played the uh, opening. Oh, she got caught in the the Oh no! Oh, save her! Save her! I'm trying. Oh, ah, going through the doors, oh. girl. Going through the windows. Oh, she's done for. Leave her. Are you trying to get like a? Uh oh, uh oh. Down on him. The fuck you! Oh. Oh. Wow. Language. Well, we already getting strike for nipples, so. Yeah. Oh. I wonder, is it one strike per nipple, or do they count two nipples as one strike? That's to keep our nose clean for a while. What if the areolas are really big? Then is it each one is one strike? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Setzer says, "If you only again media if you only knew half the things Corey has said on this stream." Jason leaves the dogs alone. Says gun media. Zombie chauffeur. Jason leaves and the dogs. Curse alone. mark victim. Thank you both for following. As we see how much longer it takes. Uh, for I'm not doing so great right yeah, now. Yeah, no. You're getting hunted down. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh, are you? Ah, oh no! 
Pocket knife, yep. That looks like terrifying. Yeah. The game seems window, really fun. Window, 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 window. It's very suspenseful. Yeah. Absolutely. The other thing too is yeah. we're playing it on very low volume, but like if you're right. playing it, with proper yeah, totally. Audio, yeah, with like like headphones, headphones or something. It's like you're freaking out. Yeah. No. It looks yeah, really cool. I'm, my fear is high and my stamina is low, so this is as fast as I can run. Oh boy. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, here this it comes. It. And I'm on arm. This is it. Uh, Bye, Josh. It was a pleasure. I mean, at least you won two games as Jason. No, oh, no, there he is. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Does it oh, only do that when you're like, oh, um, no, for sure you, dead? If you hold R1, you can look behind you. Oh, I, I see, was, I see. Oh, I was cool. just, I was so just, just this... seeing what would be there, and I was like, oh, he's right. He's there. right on top of yeah. that. <laughs> I thought it was like a cinematic camera mode because no. that looked that was like perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That, that was that was creepy. Uh, so that's it. Yep. Uh, you know, you won two rounds to Jason, lost two rounds to the yeah, counselors. That's how it goes. You did awesome. Thanks for yeah. the great run there. Uh, happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah. Happy Halloween, uh, happy Halloween Corey. Uh, happy don't, Halloween. Don't eat any unwrapped treats. And uh, <laughs> uh, don't let a serial killer into your house tonight. Mm -hmm. Poor Corey. Um, we'd like to see you all back here tomorrow from North Carolina at 11 a.m. Also, we'll be back on Friday at 2 p.m., though. Corey will be hosting the show. I'm going to be gone for the weekend. And um, I gotta figure out what we're gonna play. Yeah, yeah okay. we're probably gonna yeah, Brian yeah. play Spider Man, maybe. Oh, okay, like All right, yeah, yeah. And then I'll be back. We'll be back on Monday with newly scheduled programming. So it should all be good. We'll see you guys very mm -hmm. soon. Thank you guys all for coming in. Hey, and for all the Spider crew out there at the studio, for shirtless Spider Man to show up. End it with the video again, with the uh, show intro again, okay? Yeah. Can you show the intro one more time, Justin? Cool. Yeah, Justin's like, yeah, yeah, we're good. Do it. <laughs>